We're here at the Curse Booth. Uh, who likes zombies? If you like zombies, come on over here. We're uh, talking with Jimmy what? Jimmy Wizenhunt, the yes. senior designer for H1Z1. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Jimmy, uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you guys are showing here at the booth? Uh, Sure, yeah, no, uh, H1Z1 is a survival MMO, and uh, the flavor is zombies, so if you're a fan, uh, definitely looking for some questions here in a little bit. Um, but it's about survival. Once again, you start in with a lot less than what you and I have right now. No phones, none of this fancy GPS, uh, not even a pocket knife. You got an axe, you got a flashlight, and you need to find your way through the world. So uh, what's the first thing you do when you get into If I get into the world, I've got the axe, the pocket knife, the flashlight. What do I need to be worried about, and what do I need to be focused on doing? Well, the world is trying to kill you, and we actually find that a lot of fun as uh, developers. It's, it's really every day trying to find another way to have different dangerous situations to be in. Uh, the first order of business is finding out exactly where you are. Look at your surroundings. Get familiar with it. Uh, you want to build a campfire if it came in at night. If it's raining, you need to make sure you're dry. So pull out the axe, go chop down a tree dangerous though you chop down a tree other players see that tree fall it actually falls down makes a lot of noise okay. and uh noise zombies like noise so you got to be careful so when the tree falls in the forest people people do hear it yes yeah excellent um so <laughs> tell us about the zombies are we talking fast zombies slow zombies like what kind of what flavor of zombies did we go with for h1z1 um we're all big fans of the genre so we've been all over the board just testing different ways because the biggest thing is we want to make sure that it's fun right and also still just scares the ever-living crap out of you and uh they're fast, but they're not like uh, or Z fast, like the ones that just like incredibly up into a wall, break all their bones, and then still kind of like lurch at you. Um, they're a little bit slower than the players, but the big difference is they're incredibly hard to kill as compared to most games. And there's lots of them. Uh, we've seen upwards of close to 100, uh, and by yourself, you're you're pretty much done at that point. So you got to be careful. That sounds absolutely terrifying. We hope so. Cool. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about like sort of what the future holds? What are we? What's coming up next with H1Z? And what are you guys still working on adding to the game? And uh, you know, what, what can we expect to see coming up soon? Sure. Yeah, we're actually be going to uh, Steam Early Access coming up pretty soon. Um, we. Our goal is to get a vertical slice of the game. So when you go into the game, we want to make sure that we have one bit of a feature from everything that's coming. So uh, like our wildlife, for example, we want to make sure that we have the predatory wolves and that we have rabbits that are prey animals. And that also includes things like deer. And it's not just for decoration or just for food. It's, it's very scary because you might see a deer running through the woods. You're like, huh, a deer. And it's running because there's 20 zombies chasing it out. And you've you got a pretty quick decision to make, and uh, you got to take care of it quick. So um, right now we're getting bears in the game. We're working on getting all the basic features as far as the movement goes. We're in pre-alpha right now. And uh, just, yeah, pay attention to Steam right now. We'll be going up there. Uh, it'll be $19.99. And afterwards, once we get through this, we get great feedback from the players. We're very much into open development. Um, we work with them every day. We, it's, They're really loud, and it's fun because we want to know what they want. And... Um, be a good opportunity to just get tons and tons of people in and figure out how the game's going to work out. Cool. And just speaking of that, um, for people who really want to follow H1Z1, they want to be up on up to date with everything that's happening. Uh, what are the best ways to sort of follow along and see what's going on? Um, H1Z1.com is our website, and also uh, one of our biggest resources is our H1Z1, the subreddit. Uh, once again, we're really big fans of seeing what you guys have to say, not just "Hey, here's a feature. Tell us if you don't like it. Whatever. We want to hear every bit of feedback." And also at uh, H1Z1 Game on Twitter. Excellent. Uh, we're going to see if anyone uh, in our audience here sure. has some questions for you. So the, the question was, what yeah. makes H1Z1 different than all the other zombie games out there? Uh, so we're dealing with a massive world, okay? You get in and you're carving your own story. It's not a linear thing where you go down a hallway into a police station and that sort of thing. You carve your own story, and the player interaction is huge. We want you to be immersed in the game. So if you talk at this level, obviously I'm on a mic right now, but this is acceptable for this distance. But if I yell, they can hear me over there. And we want to bring all of those feelings to the game as long as it doesn't get in the way of fun. Um, plus tons and tons and tons of players. We're growing the world out from 64 square kilometers with all traversable terrain and getting larger and larger. You start off in anywhere America and later on we're going to have cityscapes. We're going to have deserts in different areas of the U.S. It's going to be fun. Oh, uh, Jimmy, can you tell us about what kind of like vehicles and sure. modes of conveyance will be available? Um, we're moving forward with vehicles right now. We, we, we got the uh, off-roader in. It's uh, just a four-wheeled kind of jeepish type vehicle that can traverse a lot of terrain. It's the basic because we're going to Steam Early Access. Once again, we want to give just a taste of what's going to be available, and we'll see where we go from there. I'm sure we'll end up with cars and with Planet Side Engine behind us, or the Forge Light Engine. Um, if you guys are familiar with it at all, we have such a dynamic system to tune. It's really cool. Awesome. All right, well, um, before we wrap up here, I uh, just want to go ahead and ask you, like, so as you're playing this game, what's kind of the uh, silliest, crazy thing that you've done? What do you like doing in the game that's just kind of uh, for fun? What's 
Um, the craziest thing I've done so far is making as much noise as possible. So the zombies aren't just always heat-seeking missiles after you. They every every AI thing in the game has wants and needs. So you can use that to your advantage. You can make noise in an area, and they don't know it was you that made the noise. They just heard the noise. So they're gonna go check it out. And uh, there's one of our designers on the project, Adam Clegg. Um, I enjoy so much walking behind him making noise and then just running as fast as I can watching a horde of zombies chase him down. Uh, Dynamic World really creates so many trolley fun opportunities. Excellent. Well, Jimmy, thanks so much for joining us sure. today and talking about H1Z1. This E3 coverage brought to you by Alienware. Enjoy the game.